Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, I just watched a segment two minutes ago on NBC on the Today Show. Uh, and they were doing a segment on a microchip, chipping. How that there are several companies now, large companies, especially tech companies, that are going to a microchip system that you have to have inserted into your hand. And with this microchip, you'll be able to open the doors to get into the building, to get to your office, to turn on your computers, to access your phones, to access files, to completely function. And they begin to talk about how that this microchip will be able to start your car and do different things. You won't need credit cards. You won't need a debit card. You won't need anything. There's a, the day is coming. In other words, imagine, they said, imagine a day. That you don't need keys, you don't need credit cards, debit cards, you don't need ID even. Because everything will be in the microchip and that chip will be in your hand. And without it, you can't function. But with it, it will make life much easier, they kept saying, and more productive. Because you've received the chip. They actually showed a man getting the chip put in his hand. It hurt. And it actually showed several employees with the chips. It showed one lady who had the chip put in her hand. Her hand was still swollen. It looked bad. It left an ugly mark. And then the man who had it, the news reporter who had it done, showed us his hand and it left an ugly mark. Is this the technology that will be used for the mark of the beast? If you go to Revelation chapter 13 just for a second, uh, is now listen, folks, this is not the first time people have been microchipped. It, I just did a segment on this earlier this week. BBC just announced that everyone in their office in Scotland has been microchipped that work in that office, and uh, they're microchipping people in other companies. Microsoft is now looking at it. There's another company that has 700 employees. They're going to microchip all of their employees that work there. You're going to see that this technology move is going to become widespread. And soon it will be, and there's a process, not just going to mandate it overnight, but it's a process. It's a desensitizing. Uh, is this the mark of the beast? No, because you have to deny Jesus Christ. But that is slowly coming as well, as your laws are changing. And as we seem to be adapting Sharia law. Uh, besides that, let's read what the Bible says. In Revelation chapter 13, it said this about the mark of the beast. It says in verse 14, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, speaking about the Antichrist which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, which is the new world order or the one world government, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. All right, speaking again about the Antichrist. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And of course, that is exactly what these radical Islamic Muslim militants are doing, they are murdering people who refused to worship to a different name besides the name of Jesus Christ. They are killing anyone who doesn't worship their God. And he caused all, it says, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Now, there's another scriptures. There's other scriptures in the uh, book of Revelation that tells you that those who receive this mark also begin to get this sores. 
uh, that come upon them. Now, I'm telling you right now that what they're doing is the process. More and more companies are going to start doing this. And if people who won't go along with that system won't get hired, more and more and more of society will start to come under this. Soon government employees will be required this. And eventually the general public will be mandated. There's a period of, it's a process. But folks, it is beginning. The technology of the mark of the beast is beginning. And what's really kind of eerie to me when I'm watching this on the Today Show and they're all laughing because when this guy tried to open the door with his new chipped hand, the door wouldn't open for him for like a, a minute before it finally uh, opened. They were laughing like, you know, you must have got a defaulted chip. It's not a laughing matter, guys. They wanted to, they wanted to lighten up the mood. And, and, and I wrote a book called Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D, and I put it out in 2012. And exactly what I'm watching now is what I wrote in the book, that this process, this microchipping process would, would become the system that implements the mark of the beast. Does it have to be that microchip or could it be a different one or maybe a tattooed one, whatever? It doesn't matter. It's the system and it's the reason for it. The reason is to tell you that they can identify you. This is why you're seeing all these companies getting hacked right now. You know, like Target and different stores, retail stores are saying, oh, 40 million people were compromised. 10 million people were compromised. They're going to let that keep happening so that people say, I can't trust anything anymore. And they'll say, you can trust in this. And that will be the microchip. And then after they get people to willfully take it, and enough of them to willfully get involved, then eventually it will be mandated. And it won't take long, folks. It won't take long. This thing is happening quickly. And if, if, if you just looked at the Mark of the Beast technology alone, you would know how close you are. But there's a lot more going on that's also coming showing us of the end times. I mean, we could talk about all the Hosea prophecy and the dead birds, dead fish, dead cows. We could talk about the wars, the rumors of wars, the rise of radical Islam, Israel being surrounded and hated by many, na and many nations and many armies, uh, which is Psalms 83. We could talk about the destruction of Damascus, which is uh, Isaiah 17, 1. We could talk about the Arab Spring, which is Daniel chapter 11, 41 through 45. We could talk about the Babylon prophecy, which is ISIS killing all the people in the land of the Chaldeans, which is Jeremiah 50, 41 through 46. We can talk about it as it was in the days of Noah, so shall be in the coming of the Son of Man, uh, with all the sin and corruption and violence in Genesis 6. I mean, we could go on and on and on. Uh, sinkholes, extreme weather conditions, increase of asteroids, earthquakes, uh, typhoons, raging waters. We could go on and on and on and tell you about all the apocalyptic events. And then we could tell you about the great falling away of the church. Christians, literally, walking away from the gospel of Christ. And now there's another key sign to watch for. False Christ, false prophets will rise. And they'll say that there's Jesus, he's over here. Or the Messiah is over there. Believe them not. And watch this, there'll be a famine in the land. Not necessarily for bread and water, although there will be some of those famines and droughts, yes. And plagues and diseases. I mean, we got the bubonic plague now spreading in Madagascar. Ebola in West Africa. And other diseases, and don't forget AIDS. And so as these things happen, there's another sign. And that is there'll be a famine in the land, not for bread and water, but for hearing the word of God. You won't be able to find it. Churches will be buildings, but no preaching inside. People will run to and fro and can't find the gospel. I'm telling you, time is running out. The coming apocalypse is truly upon you, and that means the coming revelation. Jesus is coming soon for the bride. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are running out of time.